right, so this morning um, I woke up and I saw a few of my friends sharing another one of these Facebook math challenge things. And, um, there seems to be very little consensus as to what the answer is. So we're going to go ahead and clear this one up um, using simple algebra. Right? And I'm also going to show a second method, which doesn't really involve any algebra, which is just kind of a common sense way. So let's actually start with the common sense way here. So we've got three different, let's call them variables. We've got the bottled beers, the burgers, and the uh, draft beers. So we've got three of the bottles of beer, uh, and uh, the three of those added up is equal to 30. So since they all have to be the same value, we can pretty easily conclude that this must be 10, because 3 times 10 is 30. So we have uh, this now is equivalent to 10. So let's look at the second uh, equation. And we now know that this is 10, so I'm going to carry that value right down here. So now it's 10 plus 2 of these burgers is 20. Well, that means that the two burgers together must be 10, which means each one must be 5. So now we know this to be the case as well. So the third equation is where it gets a little bit trickier here. So what we have is we have this burger, that's 5, that is a value of 5, and then we have uh, two uh, orders of two draft beers. Um, so if we look here, that means each of these orders is 2, which means each of the beers individually is 1. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9, or 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is also 9. So we bring that 5 down. And now realize that here we have two glasses, and here we only have one. So this value is one. And from the first equation, we know that this is 10. So we use PEMDAS, and we do the multiplication first. What we have now is just 5 plus 1 times 10. Well, 1 times 10 is 10, and 5 plus 10 is 15. The mistakes that some people are making when doing this problem is they don't realize that this is not the same as this. That this is two glasses and this is one. So, whereas, yes, this has a value of two, each of them individually has a value of one. Now, for those that are algebraically inclined, uh, I'll also do this in an algebraic equation. Let's call the bottles x. Let's call the burgers y. And then let's call the glasses um, z. So we have now y plus 2z because there's two glasses. And what we're being asked for here is y plus uh, x times z or z times x. Okay, so here we start with the first equation. Turn that into 3x equals 30, divide by 3, and then x is 10. Substitute that into here. We get 10 plus 2y is 20, 2y is 10, and y is 5. And then sub that into here, and we get 5 plus 4z is 9, 4z is 4, z is 1. So now we have the three variables and we just fill them into the original equation. 5 plus 1 times 10 and we get 15. So there you have it. Two different ways to take a look at this equation. Um, and if you see any more of these types of math challenges, we'll try to do videos on them. Uh, they're all pretty similar and a lot of them have the same kind of trick where there'll be like two of the same variable here and then there'll only be one in the final equation. Um, so just be mindful of that if you're trying to solve these. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like what, I, what you see here, uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've got other math videos. We've got some grammar videos. We've got good things for uh, kids to adults. Um, anything ranging from high school math to just fun math riddles.